Hello and welcome to another episode of Tales of Middle Earth, the series in which we explore stories and locations unrelated to our journey in Citadel Guard adventures. I am Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and today we'll continue our scavenger hunt for Lutra's 15th anniversary. So we will begin by just uh, getting, first of all, the daily. Look at this. And now the I year three. Up to a cruel joke. Why, I ask you, am I even responsible for this mystery? True, I am nearer the party tree of Fener than nearly any other hobbit in the Shire. But I am not constable. I can assure you of that, and not great riddle solver either. Don't you worry, Waldo. We got you covered. So, year. Uh, we have year three tails. Bottom year. Uh, this time with feeling? What's this? Oh. Yeah, I know. Not doing that. Once again, it's more trouble than it's worth, in my opinion. This scavenger hunt card has a list of things to find. They could be anywhere, and we have two. Gather remembrances in pre-battle of Gilead. Talk upon the Spire of Mitten in Rivendell. Stride into the Red Horn Snowfall. Gather remembrances of being led blindfolded from Ehatan Distel to Kenny Ambroth. Read from the Chronicle of Events and complete the Horn of Gondor. Find a shard of Wormy's horn in the raids beside the Anduin north of Kyandros. Kneel before the stewards, chair in the Tower of Ectelion, defend Gondor, defeat foes in Old Anorian, and find a plague of the former steward Boromir in Minas Tirith. Oh my god, I don't remember what that one is. So I think we can uh, begin with Rivendell. Uh, the Spire of of meeting will uh, also give us quick access to the Chronicle of Events to replay the, the Horn of Gondor. But that means that this is one of those moments in which um, it's not practical doing all the objectives in chronological order. So, we need to talk upon the Spire of Meeting. So, here. In the south, Boromir held forth, the realm of Gondor long endured. Yeah, I know about that. Oh, now that we're doing Boromir's Tales, and we are uh, members of the Citadel Guard, I mean, it's the first time I do this scavenger hunt as a man of Gondor, so I think this one is gonna be fun. Gonna save the hobbits. And I hope we can we can do this one really quick. Uh I'm I'm hoping today we can also do year three and year four. I don't know about year five. I I don't think we can, but We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Someone cut a mighty swath through the Uruks in the East Wall. But was it enough to save our mutual friends from certain death? So. Quest actions available. Yeah, I mean... We can't safely ignore that. The hobbits need your help, Boromir. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what all these skills do. And I don't think it's that important either to read the descriptions. I mean, just need to take care of the orcs. Thank you, Boromir. He came out of the woods in that direction, Boromir, and it sounds like he was not alone. You are struck by the hobbit's suddenly fierce countenance. They look so much like children, yet you begin to see some of the resolve of which Gandalf spoke. We have to find Frodo, Boromir. If you had some cause in his disappearance, help us now and make it right. This way! We got to find Frodo! I think... Yeah, the AoE skill we have is... Number 4, number... Five, maybe or just number four Oh, my God. 
Hmm. I'm actually thinking I... I don't know. I, I, I seem to remember some of these uh, tales on the scavenger hunt will require you to defeat some foes within epic battles. Not sure if you need to complete them. It, if that's the case, uh, I, I need to think, how am I going to tackle that one? For the time being, we'll just need to focus on defeating the orcs. Protecting the habits. Let them come. Great. Ormir, are you hurt? Mary, he does not look well. Well, so far so good. So far so good. You need aid. You must blow the horn of Gondor. The orcs seem endless. How can we hope to fight them all? We are not as strong as you, Boromir. Merrick has shown them a thing or two, but I just cannot do it. I cannot fight anymore. There are just too many of them. Well, the Horn of Gondor doesn't uh, hurt the enemies, it seems, so we don't need to use it. I was kind of hoping this horn to, to do something similar to the champion's horn skill, which is kind of fun to use. Where is Strider? He must have heard the horn. And he most likely did, but you need to give him time. Going to do? I don't know, Pip. You gotta trust Boromir a little bit more. I gotta say, ending off wave after wave of Uruks, it's fun, it's kind of empowering. Oh, but right now I just want to finish the scavenger hunt, if you don't mind. You need to alert your allies. Blow the Horn of Gondor once more. I don't think anyone's coming, babe. This fallen Uruk is barely alive, but the mark of the white hand on his armor is unmistakable. Sis, the Havling, he moans, his wounds babbling painfully. These Uruks are here for Frodo. You have to stop them. Hey. Oh. Yeah, that's... Not happening. Oh no. Boromir. Boromir, get up. Oh no. Mary. Come on. We have to go, Boromir. Pippin, I think this is it. Are you ready? I suppose, Mary. It is our turn to protect you now, Boromir. The Shire! For Frodo! And there we go. I think... Wasn't as long. And, and uh, hopefully we can uh, keep up the pace with the other tasks we need to complete. You know what? Since we need to get to Eregion, 
and, and, and the red horn pass. This is the perfect moment to go to the stables in Rivendell. Something that we weren't able to do on the last one. That's great. Let us do that. Okay, so I think we can uh, remove these quests that we are not advancing right now. Oh my god, what am I doing? Yeah, let me grab the horse. So, Ray Battle of Gilead, the Red Horn Snowfall, a cat and a still. To Kirin Amrod, we can do that too. Uh, Kairandros, the Tower of Ectelion, Old Anorian, and Minas Tirith. So it seems most of these objectives are really close to each other. We should be able to do this fairly quickly, I hope. There we go. So, we need to go to Wingries. I mean, either one of these two, I think it's basically the same. Maybe Ehadunan is a little bit closer, but not by much. I don't think so. So, yeah. I think we're we're good here. Well, yeah, we, we gotta go to the Red Horn Pass. God, it's been so long. Besides being on these area door areas and, and Rovanion too. It's even been too long since I've been in Gondor. So I'm, I'm kind of lost as to where to find some of these things. Oh my god. Oh, I, I, I hope I'm... I'm able to do this... as fast as I can. There was a tater! We don't need taters anymore. We could have used it on the previous one, but... There wasn't. Weren't anywhere to be found. So, I think this is the path. Trying to find the path uh, the fellowship used. That should get us the closest to where we need to be. I, I always get kind of lost. Here in, in the Red Horde Pass. And especially now that there is passage to the Bales of Anduin from here. I would not want to go there. I mean, we we can handle the enemies in there, but I don't want to go there ahead of time. I, I, I want to explore that area as I come through for the Black Book. So, I basically, I guess I, I just need to be careful. Ah, do it. I guess I had already need you here. And, uh, yeah, we continue. We follow the path through here, but you see the snow is falling heavily from here on, so I guess we are on the right path. 
the frost cream. The strongest of uh, the strongest of us must force a path teeter into the deepening snows. Yeah, that was it. That's great. So I think now we're gonna go to a uh, from from Echadantastel to Kirinamroth. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to get uh, year five in the mix today, too. That would be great. I mean, it seems we will be able to do year three really quick, but we also need to check how real uh, year four is going to be. Not so sure about that one. So, Ikadanda still, there we go. Okay, here we are at the Katanda still. This is actually the second time I come in here. I... Oh my god, I had such a hard time finding the remembrances. So let us hope this one's the charm. Um... What am I supposed to do? Jeez, so lost. Yeah, it seems I was going... I, I took a wrong path. So, of course, I was not gonna find any remembrances. You see? Here's the first one. So, yeah. I took the wrong path. From here on out, I hope it's gonna be a little bit easier. Should be. I hope these uh, remembrances would be a little closer to each other. Yeah. You are not saying anything? Okay. Have it your way. Here we have number two. Here we have number three. Um, but that's not it. Number four and number five. Oh my god, this was so easy. Once you know what to do, of course. Okay. So, I think now we can go to Old Anorian. There's a couple things we can do in here with the Tower of Ectalion and everything. All right, so. Boromir. gonna take a while, but let us go. This is Edion, okay. I hope I'm on the right path. Hopefully. Oh, okay. In the last years of Denethor I, his son Boromir regained Osgiliath and Ithilien, and even the Witch King feared him. Alright, that's... 
That's a nice piece of trivia there. To be honest with you, I mean, as much as I love Gondor and, and Numenorian lore in general, it, it, it's really easy to get kind of lost with all the lineages, the kings, the stewards, and what what every one of them did. And it might even be a case of just the Lotro team adding their own thing on top of the lore and making it seem believable. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I read the books and the appendices, so I am kind of sketchy on the details in here. Help me out if you remember. Or if you know, in fact, a little bit more about a Boromir the First. Uh, now we're going to the high stables. It's gonna be the masters here, right? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the masters here. Yep. There we go. We gotta go. The steward's chair in the Tower of Ectelion. Okay. We can do that. And it's been a while, a long while since I've been in Minas Tirith, too. Okay, there we are, the Citadel. It's so good to be back. Can't deny that. And here in the Tower of Ectelion. We'll find the throne and oh my god, do I love this music. This chair would have held Boromir as a steward after his father's time. But alas, that was not to be. But now... We're going to defeat some enemies. In Old Anorian, where can we go? That has a, a, a good constant version of enemies. Maybe we can ride to one of the enemy camps in here. Whichever one. But take your time. <laughs> Take your time to load the horse textures. I'm sure by the time you do... Oh. Stop it. I don't know where I am. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let us... Well, there seem to be... Plenty of enemies in here. This should be quick. Six out of ten. Do this light flies count? Yeah, they do. Great. Every little bit helps. There we go. Now 
I think we can go to uh, Revitalos Gilead. I mean, I think we're closer from here. There is not a port to Privatolos Gilead. And if you try to get there from South Ithilien, you need to master in Barhurin and grab a swift travel and then ride. That's that's a lot to do. Oh again. Can we go now? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, here we have one. You recall adventures past? Yeah, both Boromir's and my own. I mentioned that to you uh, when I first came to Osgiliath, but I didn't have a good memory of it. And traversing it was very difficult with the enemy density and all, but it, this, this, this time Running as Gilead with Beriathan, I, I found it to be much more easier than I remembered. And I'm sure part of of the reason why that happened is uh, my items were way more powerful than they were back in the day. And also all the all the DPS changes that were introduced since Osgiliath was first released, all that helped to make this a little bit easier. Shardrak. And I, I, I... If I had the quest to fight the guy, I would do it. But right now, there is no quest for that, so I think I'm gonna uh, skip it. Unless this guy needs help. In which case, I might do it, but otherwise... Yeah, he's just gonna avoid him. And that's the best course of action, if you ask me. Now, we gotta go to Kyrandros. I think it's closer if we go from the camp of the host to Kyrandros. It feels kind of weird. Kind of spoiling some of the areas we haven't reached in the main series. I mean, I have already done all that, but the videos aren't yet to be released. So it feels kind of weird, but I hope you don't mind that as much. Once again, it feels it feels even weirder not doing something for Lotro's 15th anniversary, and I think uh, the scavenger hunts are perfect for it. it, it it's kind of fitting, kind of poetic in a way, considering this, uh, these scavenger hunts were first introduced for the 10th anniversary, which was also another milestone. And now that we are on the 15th anniversary, we're doing them. So it, it kind of makes sense in my mind. And I hope it does on yours as well. Alright, change of plans. I think... Um, yeah, I, I messed up. I tried reaching Carandros from the camp of the host in Italian. Then from the after battle version of, of the Pelennor. But that one didn't work either. So I think what we need to do instead is travel to Ostremon. No, 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 no. Ostremon is not a place I want to be. Uh, Gondor needs your aid. Prithost is the name, is the place I, I want to reach. There we go. Yeah, I forgot your first glimpse 
of Kailandros is from the west side of the river in, in the pre-battle version of, of Old Anorian. I mean, having the pre-battle and the after-battle version can get confusing at times, but I think now I'm on the right track. Now we can finally get this Shard of the Horn, be done with it, uh, get year 4 done, and hopefully not take as long doing that one. Let us hope. Right? Crossing my fingers. See, that's what you get for looking at a map. But anyway, let's see if we can cross through here and not be dismounted. Yeah, that was too much to hope for. That's the place. I feel so bad with myself now. I, you don't know how much time I spent trying to find this place. But of course, if you are on the wrong version of the map, never gonna work. I mean, it would be nice if the if the quest guide at least told you what version of the map you need to be in. The map is big enough without you having to try two different maps. The river brought a horn to Denethor, broken. You can play it as Kavner Hunt card. It makes sense if we're talking about how Denethor received the horn that uh, we needed to be in the pre-battle version, but. I mean, in hindsight, it makes all the sense in the world, but it was a little bit confusing. And now we just need to oh, get yeah. once again back to the party tree and uh, grab year four let's see what goodies do we get for completing year three i'm not so sure and there we are another list examine of course they left another reward as well did you expect it i must confess that i was not surprised enjoy it my friend great so we got a Tomb of the Raven, we're gonna get this scrap here and this well in here. Great! Tomb of the Raven, perfect. Now, let us do year four. Would you believe that I slept not a wink last night? Standing watch over the tree to catch these misprints in the act and somehow miss them. Oh, how the planning committee mocked me behind my back. I know they think me guilty, and what if I am? At night while walking in my sleep? <sighs> what nonsense! Do not mind me, friend. I am Andres Lep, that is all. You should take another of those lists off the tree and see where it leads you this time. Sure. So. Uh, there we go. Year 4, Aragorn. That's gonna be great. Uh, because travels. You gotta defeat a lot of orcs. That's not worth it. And uh, trifles. 
Ah, oh, complete a lot of skirmishes. That's not worth it either. This scavenger hunt card has a list of things to find. It could be anywhere. Defeat foes in Anuminas. Talk to Arwen in Rivendell. Smoking the Prancing Pony to the right of the stage. Uh, gather remembrances up on Weathertop. Pick an Eleanor flower on Kirin Amroth. Spot the Brooch Pippin dropped in Rohan south of the Springview State. Talk to Aragorn in Rivendell to recall the reforging of Nars. That's gonna be great. Gather remembrances in the path of the dead. Visit the statue of Thorongil in Pelargir. Study the marcher plants inside the tent in Aragorn's pavilion. Lots of things to do. So I think it would be best if we do this from west to east. So let us go to Anuminas first. Uh, okay, so, gotta grab the, the stable master, actually. What do you need? Anominas, there we go. Take your time. You always do. Yeah, finally. Thank you. Okay, so. Bows in Anuminas. Uh, okay, I think I know. Yeah. There we go. This should be easy. That's six of them. That's great. At least this one was quick. <laughs> awesome. So now we can go to the Prancing Pony. Uh, oh. Yeah, we can get this travel skill to Bree. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. And I just want to do something. Since we are going to be smoking. Well, not only for the smoking part, you know. Now that I think of it. I much rather do it uh, for all this quest. Yeah, let us use our Aragorn inspired outfit because why not? In fact, it would be great if I could have a hooded cloak, but I don't have it with me right now. Not running to the vault just for that. I don't think so. Um, to the right of the stage. This is the stage. I oh, know. To the right of the stage. Here. Yeah? But the right from the viewer's perspective, I think. No, not here. This is the stage right. Come on. What other stage could you be possibly talking about? No. No. It's got to be this one. Why did you do that? Said Strider. You have put your foot in it. Or should I say finger? <laughs> yes, you should. And take a look at us. Well, do you want to take a look at how this... You want to see how this looks with a hooded cloak and a beard? Uh, you can you can look for uh, Lauredin of Elendilmir. You can Google that app and uh, 
you will find, I think that was a Lotro fashion block. I don't remember where right now, but I did submit that one many years ago before I created Burriathan with my Cappy. So if you want to see how, um, how that one looks with the hooded cloak and the beard, you can uh, check that one out. So, Breland Homesteads. Let's see. I think we can... We can get a, a, a swift travel to the Forsaken Inn. So we're gonna do South Bree. Here we can do the homesteads. All right, this works. I hope. I need you to drop me right next to the stable master. Which is not in here. These are the the neighborhood stable masters, but the stable master I'm looking for. God, I am so lost now. Maybe it was it was that one inside the neighborhood. And if that's the case, I feel kind of bad with myself now. I could have could have saved some time. On the previous episode, not gonna bother with it. Let us go to Oscuruz, like the last time. Maybe you can tell, but I, I, I'm still a little uh, rusty after so much time away from the game. Right, right now. Oh, we need to climb weather top, so we still need to hurry up a little bit. I'm not gonna be making the ascent on the worst it. That's just asking for travel. But we can use the horrors to get to get there as quick as possible. Let us see, maybe if we stick to the road in here. Time for us to start looking for the the way up. Weather top is kind of confusing too because on one hand the map does show you a path, but if you so wish, you can also climb from the north. I mean, it, it's it seems kind of unintended if you ask me, but. That's the way I've always done it. Well, not entirely unintended because you also have some markers and a clear path here. But it seems we were supposed to start climbing from the southeast 
and I I have done that a couple times, but I always forget how to do it. So not gonna try and, and look for that climb on my own today. As we are still hard pressed for time, so let us do what I already know how to do. You see, it, it shows a different location on the map, different from the path, so I've never known. Or maybe this is the only way, I don't know. I truly don't know at this point. Bottom line, here we have the remembrances. And here we have the second one. And... Where is the third one? The third one should be, I, I think, from the path that we didn't take. And if that's the case, it's gotta be oh, come on. we have to do it once again on this location. Maybe I already found all of the its locations. I mean there are two different deeds. So maybe I already completed one of them or I don't remember how good I was doing with, with those deeds. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. Over here. Alright, now... Talk to Aragorn in Rivendell. Yeah, we gotta do two different things in Rivendell, so let us go. <laughs> Would be so nice if you could do a couple of these things uh, simultaneously, but... At least for the scavenger, scavenger hunt proper, you need to do the sequence. I I haven't tried. Most likely you can. Uh, picking up different years after you finish them the first time. That might be doable. But if you ask me, that should have been a possibility from the get-go. So that you can do a couple of of the year three, year four, and the other ones at the same time. That would be really nice. But you could argue that also defeats the purpose of of revisiting this character by character. Anyway, here we are. Let us walk to the Forger's Veriathan. It will be some time before the sword is completed, and we can take in the air while the elf smiths of Elrond work their craft. The time of Isildur's heir is at hand. With the recovery of the last Silithar, Elrond has commanded that the light of Narsil, which cut the One Ring from the hand of Sauron, be renewed and rekindled as Unreal, the Flame of the West. And I will always cherish the chance of revisiting this. Greetings. Are you ready, Beriathan? The air tonight feels full of promise, and I have resolved to leave any doubts I have behind me. For Narsil to be reforged, this night feels unreal to me. As if I will wake in the house of Elrond and find this has all been a dream. It is time, my friend. Let us see how goes the forging. A dream, but not quite. Not quite in that sense. It's a dream come true. Instead.
You have my greetings, Aragorn, son of Arathorn, Lord of the Dúnedain. Many years have passed since I gave unto you the shards of Narsil, heirloom of your line. This night will see its light rekindled, the blade that was broken. You might have come to get me, Dunedain. I didn't think the sword would be ready until tomorrow. Hello, Frodo. Hello, Uncle. Well, I haven't missed anything strong song worthy yet, have I? If you will stop with your chattering, Bilbo Baggins, perhaps you will have your answer. Look, Imelder has something to say. For long hours we have toiled over fire hot and metal cold. A new blade has been beaten from the shards of Narsil. The last of the silly thyre has given the blade a glowed hat of old. The work is nearly finished. Lord Elrond, it is ready. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, this is still exciting. Come, Aragorn. The blade is called Anduril, the Flame of the West. It was forged from the Shard of Narsil, and from it springs the light of the last Silithar. Take it with honor, Aragorn, for it is thine. From the ashes, a fire is woken. Behold and doodle, flame of the west. I thank you, my friends. The blade that was broken has been remade, and my heart dares to hope. It will take more than swords to turn this tide, Aragorn. Even one such as this. Come now, Gandalf. Time for some cheer, perhaps, but not to excess. Dark dangers press upon us. Evil stares. But Gandalf, the sword of the king has been remade. That has to count for something, surely. You are right, Frodo. I am sorry. I did not mean to be... gloomy. It is true that our roads went into danger, but I rejoice that I worked them in... Do not despair, my friends. We will brave the storm clouds on the horizon. Greetings. I can hardly believe that Narsil has been remade, but the feel of Anduril in my hand quells all my doubt. This night has been long in coming, Beryathan, and I marvel at it. And I do too, still. Let us return to the house of Elrond. Many are the friends that wait within, and I would show them Anduril that they may know what has been done this night. Always exciting. Always amazing. <laughs> Even if, if it's just a regret of of what we have already done, I still enjoy it very much. But we need to hurry, we still had a lot of things to do. We need to talk to Arwen, go back to Kermit Anroth, yet again. Rohan, the Path of the Dead. The Statue of Throngil in Polar Gear, the Pavilion in After Battle Minas Tirith. It's, it's a lot to do. Die Hope. I don't take much more time. Let us go. Let us hurry up, please. I mean, we're going as fast as we can, but still.
We are really close now. Arwen should still be here, right? And the last again. Why? But no, it's gotta be over here. Yeah. I see the marker on the map now. Long have I labored over a gift for my love. It shall be brought to him when the hour is most dire and his glory shines brightest. Converse with Arwen, yeah. We have not reached that point in the main series yet, but that's gonna be a very special moment too. You know it. You know it. Now we're going back to Kerin Amroth to pick up the Eleanor. This one's gonna be easier. May Gavalin. There we go. So. Well, we gotta get to the hill, but let us start looking for it. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't that hard. Now, Aragorn stood at the hill's foot, still and silent as a tree. In his hand, he held a small golden flower, and a light was in his eyes. And now, one more thing I want to do before we continue is grab a couple pictures of Proto and Sam. Now, where do we go next? To Rohan? So, a Springview State, if I'm not mistaken, is in the Norcrofts. I gotta double check before I, I move on, but I'm pretty sure that's the place. No, we need to check here. Yeah, Springview State. That's it. So we're gonna go to Elthangels. What business have you with the Rohirrim? So, first to Cliving, then to Elthangels. And from there we can ride to the Springview State. And any excuse to be back in Cliven is all too worth it. I'm enjoying Aragorn's part a lot. You can tell. I'm having a lot of fun. Revisiting some of my favorite moments and locations in the game? Yeah, of course. I'm in. And the Norcrofts in general. I love climbing and the Norcrofts in general. And I'm bathing in this view once again. I didn't expect that to happen so soon, but I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. South of the Springview State. So yeah, close to the river. Sure. Let us go. Orban, no thank you. Hey, 
Hater, okay. Pippin's brooch. There we go. Yeah, and you can actually see the model and everything. That's great. No hope of escape, but there is hope that I have left some mark of our passage on the ground. Now, we're going to the Paths of the Dead for that. We got a... Uh, I think... No. Altberg is the way. There is a stable master in Don Hara, right? Tell me there is. There should be. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna ride there. Please. Under Harrow. Altberg. You can watch. Come on, yeah, I gotta go to Under Harrow and ride. Let us do that. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. Under Harrow. I don't see it. Gotta go to Edoras, I guess. go from here we should be able to get to under harrow i am afraid of what is happening to these lands please yeah well we're almost done i mean the the longest part of this is getting to the paths of the dead but after what after that it should be smooth sailing uh Yeah, we gotta... Gotta ride, then. I hope the remembrances and the Paths of the Dead are easy to find. They should be. Paths of the Dead is not a... Uh... It's not a long, it's not a big area. So, should be easy to find. Just that this is such a long climb, especially because of the zigzagging path. It's great that it's taken directly from the books, and it's a very atmospheric climb the first time you do it. And and if you have the time for sightseeing, it's still special, undeniably. But with that said. I really want to get to the Paths of the Dead. No time for sightseeing today. I didn't stop to see the mountains before though, I'm gonna give you that. And, and they look great. As always, I mean, the landscape team in Lozier does always such a good job.
There we go. We're almost there. Almost there. Remembrance. There we go. Here we have the first one. Yeah. Now we go inside. Shouldn't be too far, I hope. I mean, are we expected to cross the path of the dead from one side to the other? We don't know. Well, here we have another one. And the third one should be by the river, I hope. Yeah, there we go. So now we go to Arnak. We gotta find a couple um, routes to Pelargir, it seems. Gotta ride. Civil Master. Alright. And the music glitch. Every time you leave the parts of the dead happen to us on the main series, it's happening again. What a shame. But anyway. Um, needs your aid. East Pelargir, okay. Pelargir now. These are troublesome times indeed. It's a shame there is no port in central Gondor. statue. Thorngill stands tall over the port city of Pelargir. Yep. And finally, in Aragorn's pavilion, we gotta go to After Battle Minas Tirith. That's gotta be it. So, do we grab a ride to Aragorn's Pavilion or do we go there ourselves? It's not that far, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. Ah, here we are. 
a brave and desperate gambit designed to draw the eye away from Frodo and Sam. You completed the scavenger hunt. We just gotta talk to Walter Rumble again. There we go. How can I be of service? Ah, there we go. I don't suppose that you are the one leaving these notes. Ha, huh, just a meager jest. Don't stop helping me out of this model. Unless it was you? No, I never thought it was, I assure you. Whoever it is has left more prizes here, so help yourself. Alright, so... No pet this time, it seems. What a shame. But anyway, I'm gonna grab this. A housing item, once again, and... A back shield, which eh, it's there, I guess. But we don't have a, any more time for year five, so we'll need to leave the rest of the scavenger hunt for another day. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Tales of Middle Earth, and join me next time when we will explore many more locations and stories that are still left untold. For the time being, this has been Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you all later.